Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17.2 Beta 3. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I am one of the first person who comes up with latest videos on these latest softwares. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right now and let's talk about what's new in this update and what all new features and changes are in this update. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. Alright, so First of all, installing this update, it came at a whopping 6 GB on my device, actually more than that. But because, because I was not coming from a beta, I was coming from iOS 17.1. So yeah, don't take this number thinking that it was a really big update. It was not a big update. It was big for me. But if you are supposed coming from the previous beta, it will be much smaller for you. I keep on downgrading and upgrading my device to these versions so that I could test out and report to you guys what version is performing the best for you. So in this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17.1.1 versus ios 17.2 beta 3 so first of all the first thing that is fixed finally compared to the beta 2 that is notification bug some users were reporting that the notifications were delayed and when it is synced with your watch it was not coming on time on your watch compared to your iphone the notification delay bug is now finally fixed on the ios 17.2 beta 3 there are a lot of things that are resolved in this update so jumping on to the next thing that is contact posters bug when you are setting a contact poster and editing that sometimes it was resulting in a respring and sometimes it was not even able to set properly this was not a widespread bug but yeah that bug is also now fixed on the ios 17.2 beta 3 then the next thing is in the battery section yes the battery finally seems to be a little bit better compared to earlier all right see i haven't really used this software the beta 3 that much because as you know it just came out so take this information with a grain of salt but yeah it does feel a little bit better compared to earlier as of my experience till now but don't worry i will let you guys know in my future video later this week so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already then talking about the performance the performance is something that you guys are aware i don't do geekbench or anything because numbers never translate to real world so yeah compared to the previous version which is ios 17.1.1 not the beta 2 because i am coming from 17.1.1 so i'll compare it to that compared to that the performance seems a little bit slower actually so in case if you are planning to come on a beta version make sure that you are using a latest device i mean at least a 13 because iphone 12s and below is getting really heated up on these betas i have realized especially if your battery health is low just avoid betas on iphone 11 12 and below then if you have iphone 15 series on the ios 17.2 beta 3 in the vision pro recording section the vision pro logo is now more defined and it looks more real compared to earlier after installing the update i lost around 400 mbs that is because i was not coming from the beta 2 i updated my iphone 13 and my iphone 13 from the beta 2 to the beta 3 i gained about 120 mbs so yeah that is not a big thing losing 400 mbs or gaining 100 or 150 mbs is not a big thing but if you are low on storage you should keep that in mind there isn't anything much except for these things that i have found in the beta 3 but i will keep you guys updated on my twitter which is linked below the like button or in my follow-up video later this week so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so make sure to do that thank you so much for watching this video till the end i will catch you guys in the very next episode thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace